Start. Hey, it's Lemon. Welcome to the Backlogs. Have you ever looked at all the messy walls and objects in your life and thought to yourself, there must be a better way? Well, good news, there probably is. But that's something you're gonna have to take up with the real world. Today, we're gonna ignore all of our responsibilities and do chores and video games instead. Now, I'd be lying to you if I said I hadn't played this game to completion. Like all the items, all the customized skins, and every single achievement levels of completion. However, I'm not about to let that stop me from enjoying this game some more. No, I don't have a problem, you have a problem! Rather than admit some potentially distressing truths to myself, we're gonna find out. Can you beat Power Washer Simulator without using step stools, ladders, or scaffolding? So as you can see, there are several power washers we can choose from, but there's one that is very obviously the best, so we'll be sticking with that for the entire run. And there are also several different nozzles we can use, depending on the job at hand. Sometimes you need a nice wide stream, sometimes you need to apply soap for harder stains, and sometimes you need a nice focused stream to get those tiny spaces. Personally, I prefer to power wash with the dead space gun, because it decimates grime and dirt just as effectively as it decimates necromorphs. So I'll probably be using that for a majority of the run as well. And with all that said and done, let's get started. Our first task is to clean our van. Can't go advertising a cleaning business with a dirty vehicle now, can we? This game is pretty simple. Just spray down everything until it's as clean as the day it came off the assembly line. We are offered a step stool to help clean off the roof of our van, but using that would be against the rules. So rather than do that, we're gonna have to get creative. And by get creative, I mean abuse the physics engine of this game to its breaking point. Let me just hop on here, there we are. And with a final bit of effort, there you go. First level down. Ooh, I love this part. The game gives a little play-by-play -play of the job so you can see what you cleaned and when. If that doesn't kick your dopamine sensors into gear, I don't know what will. All right, what's next on the list? We're technically in free play mode, but I'll just be going level by level as if we were playing the story mode again. Looks like the back garden is up next. This shouldn't be too bad. Hmm, according to my Clino vision, pretty much anything that isn't grass is dirty here. Not to worry though, lemon pledge to the rescue. Now here's the thing. Because our limitations in this run are height-based, the only true risk to the run is if there's something high and out of reach. So long as we can reach everything, the only thing in our way will be time and patience, which I just so happen to have an excessive amount of. Thankfully, this level is pretty low to the ground, so we should be good to go here. And with a little elbow grease and about 400 gallons of water, the level is completed without any assistance from the step stool. A job well done. What's next on the list? The bungalow, huh? All right, this should be a challenge. Well, I'm sure you can see the problem here. We've got a roof and gutters to clean out. And while it would be nothing at all if we could use this here ladder, we're gonna have to get a little more creative. My first thought was to use the bushes, and this kinda worked, but I couldn't get all the way up onto the roof. I more or less was just hanging onto the gutter and fell off as soon as I stopped pushing forward. Less than ideal, especially with all the nooks and crannies we're gonna have to reach. But then, a realization. I could also clamber up onto the picket fence, and if I put myself on top of one of the fence posts, Ta-da! Mischief managed. From there, it was just a matter of excitedly cleaning the roof, giving the gutters a good rinse, and finding the last piece of schmutz that was hiding on the wall. And there you go. That wasn't so bad. Good thing that fence was there. Next up is the playground. Considering how many ladders and slides there are, this shouldn't be too bad. Let me just see what's dirty out there. Ooh, my eyes, my eyes! Well, needless to say, the biggest concern is always the highest point of the map, which is going to be those playground roofs. Here's hoping we can just, oh, uh, yep. That'll do. Man, thank God for this nozzle. The first playthrough of this area took forever with the base level power washer. That said, this is still taking quite a while to finish. And while I'm all for taking my time and letting the dopamine drip do its thing, I'm a busy man, and all those other challenge runs on my list aren't gonna complete themselves. Whew, there we are. That only took half an hour. No, 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 this won't do. This won't do at all. We're gonna have to speed this up. The next mission is the dirt bike. One quick look at the percentage cleaned should tell you how hard this one was. Right, that one took literally 30 seconds. More of those, please. This is not exactly what I had in mind. Ugh, I don't have time for this. How did this even happen? No, seriously, how did this get this bad? Well, nothing a little quantum physics can't fix. At first, I tried to use the stairway banister to hop up onto the porch roof, but no dice there. However, if you anger yourself just right at the fence post, you can bully physics until it cries and throws you onto the roof in exasperation. Not much to see after that. And yes, before anyone yells at me in the comments, I'm aware that there's a free aim mode that makes it a lot less nauseating. But I'm a god dang animal, and I will not be tamed. And just like that, that's another big old house completed. Moving right along. The golf cart is up next, and after jumping on top of the potting table, that's all she wrote. Next, shoe house. 
Uh oh, this might be a problem. As you can see, we now have access to scaffolding. Or rather, we would if we were playing the game properly. I go around the bottom half of the shoe, getting everything I can, which actually ended up being way more than you'd expect. Then, with a little parkour up the porch banister, I made my way to the top of the boot, cleaned everything up there, then did some precarious climbing onto all the windowsills, and cleaned everything I could reach from those. However, I still have 12% more to clean at the very top of the shoe. 12% that I can't seem to reach. But, I was able to skim off the shoe tongue and cling to the roof, and after carefully positioning myself just on top of the front window shutters, I was able to let go and bounce my way up to the top. Take that, gravity! The pain didn't quite end there, since I now had to try to clean the edges I had missed without falling off the roof, but with a few flyby cleanings and one final spritz on the front door, that's another job down. Whew, okay, that one was a little tough. No more of those, please. Up next is the skate park. Yeesh, what a mess. Thankfully, these half walls are all very easy to climb, and they go all around the map. So once you've scaled one wall, you've essentially scaled them all. Which means this level is no longer about difficulty, just tedium. You know, I might have a solution for that. Let me think on it and I'll get back to you. In any case, about half an hour later, the skate park is complete. I'm not sure who thought a watermelon motif was the way to go for a skate park, but you can't deny that the colors pop now. Up next is the vintage car. No challenge here. Just spray the bad boy down and jump on top of the roof whenever you're ready. Three minutes to finish that one, mostly because of all the nooks and crannies around the engine. Whew, okay, another house with a scaffolding option, huh? It could be tricky. Or it could be the easiest thing in the world to climb. I think I'm starting to get the hang of this. Right, no issues here. See you all in half an hour. Okay, my estimate was a little off. It only took 20 minutes, but still a bit too long for my liking. Next up is a motorcycle with a sidecar. Yeah, no, I don't think I have to explain how to do that one. But the next one is the firehouse. This might be a bit tricky. Wait a minute, is that giant tower part of this too? Uh, yep, that it is. Well, I hate to say it, but we're definitely entering one hour territory for finishing this map even with the fancy gadgets I have at my disposal. Yeah, no, I'm not sure I can do this right now. I've just got a bit too much on my plate. However, I think that idea I had earlier just bore fruit. Let me just flick this button here, and now we wait. Well, would you look at that. If it isn't everyone's favorite moderator, Papa Calcium. Hi, Bonefather. All right, well, not the strongest start. So yeah, I decided it was high time I used some of my unearned social clout and pressured Bonefather into playing some Power Washer Simulator with me because why have moderators if you can't force them to play games with you? In order to get him to play with me, I told him he would have all the unlocks I did when he joined in. It wasn't true. Well, this is definitely going a lot faster with the second power washer, and thankfully the tower itself has a staircase, so getting up there isn't a problem either. And with the extra long attachment for my super nozzle, I can actually spray the entirety of the outside walls as well, which means this level is good to go. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. What's next? Looks like we're cleaning an SUV now, and after a quick costume change by Bonefather, we finished the SUV in about a minute and a half. You love to see it. After that was Grandpa Miller's car, nothing to see there, and after that was the fire truck. The roof is out of reach, but with a little fancy jumping from the van, you can make it up with little to no issue. Or apparently you can just jump up the front of the fire engine. But where's the fun in that? Alrighty, fire truck done, and now we've got the penny farthing. Fun fact, there's an achievement for standing on top of the bicycle for 10 seconds. Hooray. No, it's harder if you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was fun, and I'm sure that little joke won't come back to haunt me in any way. The RV is next, and is no issue since you could just jump up the front of the vehicle to reach the roof. Nothing to see here. Easy game for babies. The fire helicopter, though. This might be tricky. Oop, oh, wait, never mind. That'll work just fine. Well, dang, I thought this was going to be difficult. But in all honesty, the hardest part is how long each level takes. Even with Bonefather helping me out, some of these levels are still taking 15 minutes. I feel like we can do better, though. Let me get back to you on that one. Next up is the Mayor's Mansion. This level can be completed without a ladder on a regular day, so this is an automatic victory. But we did find a new trick that will probably come in handy later. On your head, if I jump, if I stay here, can you get on my head? Oh. Oh. I didn't realize we could jump on each other's heads. Ooh, this opens up all sorts of possible. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Mansion done. Time for something harder. Behold, the carousel. This beast usually requires you to use the scaffolding. It's just a bit too high and far away from other objects. But if I monkey my way up the van, onto the roof, around the pole, onto the other pole, and then, damn it, not high enough. Well, shoot, I thought we had it with that one. But even if I can find something to cling onto on the edge there, that chest high wall around the entire carousel is gonna keep us from reaching the top. Unless... Okay. 
Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, he makes it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> it always seems impossible until it is done. Man, that feels good. Next up is the treehouse. Nothing difficult about this one. The roof is extremely low and can be hopped on with minimal effort. So yeah, finishing this level is just a formality. Good thing we all have free time. Are you just like free for the day then? Or what do you got going on? Um, well, I was supposed to be working. But, uh, <laughs> no one's called me out, so. <laughs> but then, out of nowhere, a mystery guest. <gasps> how, 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 did Ki how did Kendrick get into our game? I don't know. Suspicious. Very suspicious, but not unwelcome. Every extra power washer I have is a little less grime I have to clean myself after all. Why is everyone's first instinct to spray me in the face? Well, initial nonsense aside, the level did start to go a bit faster. Thankfully, Kendra has played Power Washer Simulator before, so she already had some of the late game upgrades. Between her and Bonefather helping me out, I expect levels will... Alright, hold on. Where did this gnome come from? No, seriously, this wasn't there a second ago. Where did he come from? This is gonna be a thing with you, isn't it? Oh, have you found the Among Us yet? What? <laughs> Where? No. Oh, oh for fuck! <laughs> I did that before I even joined the call. <laughs> That's the first thing I did. So yeah, hope you all like Among Us, because as soon as I was outnumbered by my moderators, these little buggers popped up everywhere. I mean, progress is progress, I guess. But at what cost? Oh, that's not the Amogus that I put there. No, I did, but Lemon nice. hasn't found it yet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? I can't walk away from you guys. What is this? What is that? <laughs> well, I hope you like watching me erase Among Us pictures, because that's the entire video now. All right, who managed to squeeze this Among Us in the smallest bit left? <laughs> <laughs> Who did this? It wasn't me, but I saw it and decided to not say <laughs> So that tells you who it is. By proxy. Just by process of elimination. I'm not trying to snitch. Alright, this has been fun, but it's time for this level to end. If I do a little flyby cleaning, I can get rid of this final bit. No, 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 don't touch the tower. No, don't touch the scaffold. Oh. That bitch was in the way. You can't touch the we scaffold. Can't move them, can't <laughs> do that. I, I shoved it, okay? Oh I didn't my pick it up. God. Definitely. Okay. All right, we've got to start over. <laughs> <laughs> well, I wish I could say the second attempt went smoother, but I think this speaks for itself. Why is this somehow worse than a normal challenge run? Next up is the super secret drill. Yeah, nothing of note here. Between it being small enough to jump on and too small for anyone to draw things on it, this was another easy victory. After that is the temple. Last one up to the top is a rotten egg. Bitch, you had a head start. Yes, I did. <laughs> Sorry, I'm spraying you to hopefully make you go faster. <laughs> Move. No, help me up. <laughs> no, I want to go up that way. I don't care. You suck. Yeah, yeah, that's true. Does anyone else feel like they're trying to corral children? All right, team exercise. Get that gnome from the ground to the top of the roof. Got it? Got it. All right. No, I'm still holding it. What? All right, lay it down. Put it down. Okay, hold on. Let me. I can't put it down. <laughs> on my screen, it's literally flicking. Okay, now it is. <laughs> okay, so that's not going to. Oh, I have. Who? <laughs> what? <it> <laughs> so yeah, apparently the multiplayer is a bit scuffed. But hey, at least we were able to get to the top without any issue. Turns out my frame rate was set too high, which was causing desync issues. So if you ever play this game with friends and have a similar issue, just make sure you're all on the same frame rate. Should solve all your problems. All things considered, though, this is going pretty quick. I'm pretty proud of us. Why? Why? Why are there so many? Okay, so, this was a mistake. But hey, next up is the washroom. It's best if you don't ask. It was at this point I decided to take a break and make some food, which meant I left Kendra and Bonefather alone for 10 minutes. In hindsight, this was a horrible idea. Okay, I'm back. And I have instant regrets. What? <laughs> <laughs> Quick, this... it's a cop's hide. <laughs> Listen, it's only gonna get worse the longer you look at it. Oh my so god. So take a good long look. Well, might as well show off the art gallery. We've got John and Garfield, some classic 14th century Among Us, what's up dog? Some subliminal advertising, and a bunch of meaningless gibberish. And then there's this... thing. If you... 
What? If you dookie, you nuki, duke nuki, <laughs> like man. I'm like, okay. I'm like, you had that prime to <laughs> You love men. I, Duke Nukem, love uh, men. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so yeah, never again. Never, ever, ever, ever again. But with the washroom completely devastated, it's time for the Helter Skelter. And wouldn't you know it, we've grabbed another moderator. Hello, Ixie. Please enjoy your complimentary washdown. Now, Ixie, I just want to remind you that the goal here is to clean all the stuff without touching the... You... Yeah, no, I don't know why I thought bringing new blood would be any different. Well, the good news is that the Helter Skelter is easily topped just by jumping around. The bad news is that it's absolutely infested with Among Us now. Literally everywhere. Burn it to the ground. That said, it is hard to reach all the nooks on this thing. That slide really gets in the way. But with a little finagling and a lot of blunt force trauma, we eventually got the job done. Time for the private jet. It looks like it'll be hard to get on top of, but with a little hardcore parkour, you can absolutely just jump off the van and onto a plane wing. And after that, it's just a matter of giving it the old scrub down. No other problems on this level. Wow, Kendra, caught in 4K. After that was the fancy boat. Again, nothing to see here. Just use the van to get up onto the boat, then use the golden cat to, oh, for fuck's sake. You know what's worse? I don't think any of my mods have played Among Us. They're just doing it for the memes now. Time for the monster truck. Monster cat? Eh, whatever. Someone else beat me to it. <laughs> 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 Aside from gratuitous graffiti, there's nothing else to worry about. You can just bully your way up the monster truck wheels to get to the roof. Moving on. Ooh, boy, you're a big one. Just more canvas for the mods, I guess. By leaving the Ferris wheel on, you can see everything it has to offer, so no scaffolding is actually needed. Combine this with extra long reach, and the entirety of the Ferris wheel is cleanable. I'm glad I took the mod squad in with me, though. You can tell just by watching the playback that it took us forever to do it together, so I can't imagine how long it would have taken me to do it alone. Next up is the subway station. Considering this one is more horizontal than vertical, we shouldn't have any issues here. Yep, zero issues at all. Oh, and we also found another moderator in the wild. Hey Solaris, welcome to the circus. You know, I gotta be honest, the artwork is getting better. Or worse, depending on how you look at it. But yeah, nothing really to talk about for this level. Just a bit of tomfoolery and artistic expression. God, I miss Dig Dug. Easily my favorite arcade cabinet. Take me home. Uh, do you seriously have a guitar just for memeing? <laughs> yeah. Of course he does. Do you not? <laughs> no. Amateur. Casual skill issue. The hardest piece of the level was the jut out parts on the ceiling, but even that was manageable just by jumping on top of the map station. Dreamwork makes the teamwork. What's next? Ah, the fortune teller caravan. It should be easy enough. Just jump onto the chest, jump onto the alcove, and Bob's your uncle. Right, moving on. Next up is the dig site. Another freebie. Just use the ground around the sides to climb up top and... Wait, wait, no, what are you guys doing? Are you trying to get me demonetized? So help me, I will turn this power washing adventure right around. So help me. That's better. Oh, hey, it's magic. After that is the stunt plane. Not much to say about this one, for obvious reasons. Finished in three minutes. No complaints here. On to the giant hand. Another freebie. After resisting the urge for over six hours, I finally relented and did a little graffiti myself. Would you believe that I make all my animations in Microsoft Paint? Ah, crap, I need to step away from my computer again. I know this went poorly last time, but if I don't say anything, maybe they won't notice. All right, be right back. Lemon is literally just stood there silently overseeing us. Long live the king. <laughs> Anyone want to help me take him for a walk? Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm back. Where? Wait, why am I so wet? Oh, welcome back. <laughs> well, it looks like the last 25% of the job is inside the fist itself. Don't worry, I'll get it. Wait, what the hell is this? Help Lemon is forcing us to work 15 hour shift? No, 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 we can't have this. Corner him. Wait, what? You fall off of the <laughs> There is no escape. Larry is the starts. <laughs> Mutiny aside, another easy job. Next. Oh, hey, the fishing boat. Man, this shouldn't take long. Oh, hangman. Uh, S. Uh, no, no, no sussy bacas on this ship. Anyway, nothing to worry about for this mission. The metal framework around the boat is more than enough to help you work your way around the ship. Combine that with some very pleasant pictures made by my mods, and this was a nice relaxing level. Job well done, ladies and gentlemen. Only a few more levels to go. Next up is the RV. Wait, we already did this one. Oh, never mind. It's a spaceship. Yeah, the story of this game is weird. Needless to say, this one is a no-brainer. 
Just make your way up the sand dune, and you can hop on top of the ship. Uh, S. Uh, I, I'd like to solve. It's, a, it's Among Us. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we did have a little trouble cleaning up the hyperpropulsion drive. That's, uh, that's this purple thing above me here. But after a little boot force trauma to the skull, we were able to get a proper angle and get it cleaned. Only one more level to go. I think we might have this one in the bag. And there it is, the final level, the mysterious island temple. I wish it was a bit more dramatic of an ending, but I'm pretty sure the only difficult thing about this mission is the surface area. Time to dethrone the current king and take my rightful place as ruler of this slatterless, scaffolding-free world. But first, some last minute shenanigans. More hangman? Okay, uh, is it subscribe? Come on, I'm not <laughs> that much of a shell. That's nine letters. He's a YouTuber, not an intellectual. Can you even count to 300,000? All right, I give up. What is it? Oh, God damn it! Wow, you all have really outdone yourself this time. Look how great these look. Wait, what's that over there? Oh, for... Why? Just <laughs> by yourself, handsome? Well, at least the gang's all here. Yeah, I'm gonna go because I've been chasing these alarms around my house. And it's just all of the carbon monoxide ones just keep randomly beeping. And I don't know whether it's that, like, I've got a uh, carbon monoxide problem, or whether they've all gone low battery at the same time. Solaris, tell us a story. Okay, well, let's go. We have The Baddies, which is a, a book that my daughter does enjoy. There once lived a troll and a ghost and a witch. They were horrible baddies, all three. And none of them ever came back. Wow, I wish I had died of carbon monoxide poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> and with a final scrub-a-dub-dub -dub of the magical crystal at the very top of the pyramid, that's game. Every single mission in Power Washer Simulator, beaten without the use of a step stool, ladder, or scaffolding. A big shout out to each and every one of my moderators for helping me with this challenge. It would have been literally impossible without their assistance, and would have taken me at least another week to complete had they not been there to cover every single surface in Among Us. If you're a member of the Discord, feel free to at them and compliment them for their hard work. Don't worry, they'll probably only time you out for a week. But other than that, that's all I've got. Take care of yourselves, be good to one another, and I'll see you all again soon. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Oh, wait, hold on. Sorry, what's up? Oh, he's back. You like oh, God man. dang it, Kendra! <laughs>